Welcome to his aircraft engineered. So I'm sure we've all seen pilots pulling those big trolley bags on inside airports and on their way to their flights. Today we'll talk a bit about what's inside those bags or what used to be inside those bags. There are a lot of YouTube videos that describe what's inside those bags, but today we'll talk about flight manuals. So these bags called fly bags are traditionally used to carry lots of big books like uh, operation, operations manuals, flight crew, aeronautical and navigation charts, route manuals, etc. According to United Airlines, a conventional paper-based flight bag contains a whooping 12,000 sheets of paper per pilot, which is a lot. So now with advancement in technology, we are introduced to a new term called the electronic flight bag, EFB. Electronic flight bags uh, contain electronic manuals and documents as well as automated calculation and navigation tools. So now let's go inside the Boeing 787 and look at the EFB tools inside the Boeing 787. Then later on, we'll look at an Airbus A350. So now we're inside a Boeing 787 cockpit. So smaller or older version of planes, they actually use iPads as EFBs. And these iPads run customized airline uh, EFB applications. But for the 787, the 777, the A350, as we'll see later on, they have dedicated EFB screens. So we've got flight instrument display monitors in front and then EFB monitors by the side. So this is our EFB. Anyway, forgive me for the glare. Okay, let me first switch off this uh, map light. Map light should be off now. Yeah, I think it's much better now. So this is our 787 EFB. So we have um, MEL, our minimum equipment list for the pilots to consult in case there's a defect. We've got our FCOM, we've got our quick uh, reference handbooks, we've got operation manuals, flight crew training manuals, um, emergency uh, escape procedures. So we've got lots of documents like these traditionally were supposed to be books that were in the cockpit, but then now it's, it's all electronic. So we have uh, pilot utilities as well. We've got stopwatches, calculators, uh, conversion tables. Uh, we we'll, we also got a scratch pad in case the pilot wants to write something down. So this is basically a, cal a calculator. So you don't need to carry or to pull out your phone, but everything is there. So, so the EFBs not only do they reduce weight on the aircraft, but they also reduce workload on the pilot themselves, thereby increasing productivity in the cockpit. So basically that was our Boeing 787 uh, EFB. So now let's jump over and take a look at the uh, Airbus A350 EFB and see what are the differences with Airbus. Now we're inside the Airbus A350 cockpit now. So on the Airbus A350, as you can see, we've got six displays. So for our EFB, it's, it's run on, in, uh, on the screen called the OIS, Onboard Information System. So we have two input information system displays one for the captain one for the first officer so but then the information that you find is basically the same as the one that's on the 787 you find the uh, white pilot utilities like calculators flight manuals crew manuals uh quick reference handbooks and everything navigation charts as well they can be displayed on the screen and in case it it malfunctions um for the captain uh, you can have the the OIS applications displayed on the MFD multifunction display. So now we're inside an Airbus A380. It's the same here. I'm just showing you the location, the screen, where the screen is. So that's where it is. And basically, that's how our EFP applications uh, work. But uh, that they provide our pilots with the right information and with ease of access to it. So thank you so much for watching. Like and follow for more. Ciao.